I recently saw The Incredibles 2 and saw the Pixar short called Bao. And I was really inspired to make some. I've never made any before. And luckily, the creator of Bao actually shared her mom's recipe. So I thought I would follow along and see how good the Bao from the movie actually tastes. Let's get started. Domi's mom's super delicious recipe for Bao. Step one, mix flour with yeast in a mixing bowl. Bao flour. I don't have four cups worth of flour. So we're just gonna do half of the recipe. Serving size is one cup. 25 servings per container. What? One, two. Active dry yeast. There we go. Step two, add water and knead until a solid dough ball forms. If it gets too sticky, add more flour. If it's too dry, add more water. I've never made bao before, so I have no idea. Step three, let the dough rise for about two hours. While we're waiting, I thought we would go to the supermarket to grab the rest of the ingredients. Got a list of everything I need to get for the filling. Let's go. Brown pork, Napa cabbage, shredded carrots, green onions, ginger, olive oil. Going down the Asian aisle. Oyster sauce, chicken bouillon powder, and Shaoxing cooking wine. Here, here it is. Yeah, they don't have it. Just kind of taking my friend, he's just gonna drop some off. Thank you. Douching cooking wine. Now let's mince some cabbage. We're just gonna cut vertically through the cabbage head. There we go, half a pound. He's watching me. Oh, well, speak of the corgi. We bought some shredded carrots so it'll be a little bit easier to mince. One to two stalks of green onions, chopped. Grind up one teaspoon of fresh ginger. Easiest way to peel ginger is with a spoon. Just take the other side. I got this from the dollar store, by the way, if you were wondering. Step four, cook half of the ground pork in a pan and mix it with the raw pork. We're just gonna shred it up, okay? Interesting. Step five, mix the pork with the chopped cabbage. We're gonna do one for Gatsby as well as one for me. So first, I'm just gonna add the ingredients that Gatsby can have. Since we're doing half the recipe, we need to do half an egg. Napa cabbage, carrot, olive oil, oyster sauce. And now let's mix this. <laughs> this looks like coleslaw. Take some and put it aside for Gatsby. Green onions. So it asks for one quarter teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder. It smells like ramen powder. I'm trying to make it as powdery as possible. Taoshing cooking oil. Salt and pepper. Step six. Once your dough has risen, dust your countertop with flour and roll out the dough into a long rope. Whoa, look how large that got in two hours. Okay, let's try and <laughs> see how easy this is. There go, donuts. Okay. Step seven. Cut the dough rope into half inch pieces. Roll each piece out into a wrapper. Apparently I'm just not very good at cutting the correct size. Ta-da! These are all different sizes. I only have a large rolling pin though. This is a circle. We just have to use our imagination. Another perfect circle! I got a feeling this one's gonna be a better circle. <laughs> Step eight, spoon half a teaspoon of filling into center of wrapper, then carefully pinch and fold the wrapper closed, twisting the top to finish. That does not look easy. I think it would be easier if I don't use that much filling. Just try to only pinch the edge of it. I'm running out of space to pinch. Like that. Step nine, place the basket on top of a boiling pot of water. Steam for 15 minutes and let boughs rest for five minutes. We have the cabbage inside so that the boughs don't stick to the bottom of the basket. We're gonna stick the cover on. 15 minutes, starting now. I'm so excited and I'm starving. Ta-da! Oh please, sir. Oh please. Oh my gosh, the filling is so good. So the outer part is supposed to be kind of like a bread because we use flour. Mine got a little bit too doughy, but usually it's supposed to be like bread. It tastes so delicious. Okay, well let's see what Gatsby thinks. You ready for your bow? It's warm still. That was yummy, huh? The filling is so tender. 
and the, the mixture of everything is just so delicious. I think I would give that about a nine out of 10. I just need to figure out how to make the dough. I love you, Bao. Shall we start the vlog? <laughs> Thank you, Gatsby. Hello, everybody. Welcome to today's vlog. I got Gatsby a purple pet bed. I just wanted to get one for Gatsby because it looked really nice. I myself have a purple mattress. I have the original one, and I like it a lot. Some people are asking how durable it is. I would kind of like compare it to like outdoor furniture covers, but if you have a dog that likes to destroy things, I would say don't get them this bed. Oh, another question that people um, were asking is like, does Gatsby really appreciate it because the bed is pretty expensive? I think he does like look at him here <laughs> Anyway, I think we need to get on with the day. There's a monthly event that goes on in the Bay Area called Cars and Coffee. There's another one called Cars and Croissants. But I think we need to start a new one, Cars and Corgis. Let's go. You know I wear Adidas, cause they always seem to fit right. That's right. And I fight for my crew, cause they do their best to keep a band tight. You know I listen way more than I speak Because a teacher is a student whose time has come to shine like the sun I want to talk to everybody for a solitary minute I'll open up my mind and y'all can climb in it I know it may be hard to believe what I said So for proof of my allegiance, here's the following pledge I feel like I haven't really been challenging myself too much at the gym. <laughs> so this past week, I decided to go super hard. I think I've been seeing some pretty good results for only doing this for one week. Let's see if we can do the same thing with my arms. <laughs> Corgi like you yeah 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 does that say happy lemon there it is happy lemon who would have thought that green tea would taste really good with salty cheese the needle got stuck on a donut <laughs> Let's see did it clean a lot oh it did okay there you go I'm here with Sean. Hey. We are going to try out those Lime scooters. They have scooters just laying around. You just activate it with your cell phone and you just pay per minute. I think it's like 15 cents a minute. And it has a GPS tracker, so there's a few close by. Let's see if it works. It says there's one close by. Okay, we couldn't find them. Okay. No, we're going oh, we're going there. There's two. Okay. Now we're following the app into a parking garage. It's somewhere. It's somewhere here. Maybe it's on a different floor. Do you see it down here? No. It wasn't up here. So now we're going downstairs again. Apparently we don't know how to read maps. <laughs> Sean, we found one. Finally, finally. The camera. Oh, it's unlocking. We found some. I'm not a big fan of these. It was very scary, Sean. I loved it. I think I, I prefer the nine bar. <laughs> then riding. It cost zero dollars. Two thumbs up. That was fun. Gatsby, would you like to play? Yeah? Give me a toy. He's choosing one right now. Are you ready? <laughs> what are you doing? I can't throw it if you steal it from me. Are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? 
Get set. No! Stop! Go! Look at that tongue. So beautiful. Okay. He's like, yes, where's the food? He's like, where is it? I don't see any. <laughs> okay, here, I'll get you some. You're so good at communicating, Gatsby. Go ahead. I'm here with my friend Matt. Yo, we're gonna check out this night market. We'll see if it's any good. Night market. <laughs> Everyone's yeah, night definition market. of a night market is a little different. <laughs> Are you hungry? I'm pretty hungry actually. Oh, good. So, I'm yeah. not. But what? <laughs> we got here so early. We don't even have to wait in line. Bay Rito. Hey. Oh look. That looks pretty good. Tuna, salmon, crab, a sliver of expensive probably avocado. <laughs> I got my chicken and waffles with collard greens and mac and cheese. To be like sweet, salty, and crispy. We've got to take pictures of our food. Mm. I really like chicken and waffles. It's yeah. good. Ooh, ice cream. I got honey lavender with chocolate chip cookies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The food was pretty good. Yeah. I was surprised. It was pretty delicious. I had to stop off really fast at Target. The paper towel aisle. I hate shopping for paper towels. It's so confusing. Eight equals 20. 12 equals 18. Two equals five. Eight equals 16. Eight equals 12. Six equals eight. I think this is what Gatsby's favorite toy used to look like. This is what is left of that Statue of Liberty ball. It's like his favorite toy. It has a spiky ball inside. They don't even look the same. You know what we haven't done in a while, Gatsby? Read some fan mail. Ainsley from San Jose, California. Nicholas and Sophia from Santa Rosa, California. From Ariana from Michigan. This is Gatsby, it's a friendship bracelet. It's not food, Gatsby. There you go. I watch at least one of your videos every day to learn some new BuzzFeed food items. It's lined with Chipotle napkins. <laughs> Nate from San Diego, California. I first found your channel while I was browsing through some Disneyland videos. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys, for sending us some mail. If you want to send us some mail, check out the address in the description below. Hey, Gatsby, do you know who sings this song? It's called Back to You by your favorite, Selena Gomez. Those bow were so good, weren't they, Gatsby? We're gonna get going to bed, and we'll see you guys in the next Extra After College. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Good night. Did you see The Incredibles 2? I did. Oh yeah, I saw I saw a wish on. <laughs> One of these things does not match. Is this made from vibranium, Sean? Can Ooh. you try? You can get the bow and arrow used by Thanos. Oh. He totally used one of these in the movie. Yeah. Oh, or is this a spoiler for part two? Spoilers! Spoilers!